from Rich. I think it was a goal kick. And then look, funny thing is, I was actually trying to bring it down there as well. But then Cookie got a little touch, saved me a couple seconds. And once the ball bounced, I knew I was shooting straight away because this is the time I knew. This is the game I wanted to score in, most importantly. Plus, with all the fans as well, I think it was about 70,000. So I knew once the ball landed, I knew I was shooting straight away. Make sure I get good contact. And funny thing, when I did score, my mind went crazy and I realised, I went to look at the fans because normally you run to the corner flag. There was no fans in this whole section. I was like, oh my God. So I had to curb the run and literally sprint down here near the dugout. And obviously my family was up there and that, so I was trying to find them as well, but it's crazy. So you talk about this game being the one really where, you know, we mentioned earlier about games that you want to be a part of yeah. as a footballer. Just talk us through the day and the occasion in general because 17,000 fans in here to get two goals and score the winner in the last minute and yeah, it'd yeah. be your day really. That must have been there impressive. were so many factors towards this game. It started off because the game before we played Exeter away and it was 0-0. And obviously you want to start the season off like with a win, like a couple goals or whatever and it was 0-0 so it was a bit like, a bit awkward, you know what I mean? It's a steady start. And obviously, so coming up to this game was a bit more like, a bit more on it in terms of the team getting goals, getting the win as well. And for me, my first home game at Bradford. And it was my first game in a long time. I haven't played for months before that. So it was my first. No, it was my first, actually, I lied. Except the, the week before was. But it's my first home game. And then, so all that, all that added pressure of like team scoring, getting the win, 17,000 fans. It kind of felt like a Premier League game. Like, I haven't really felt that sort of experience and that sort of feeling in a league, in a, like, in a league game. So for me, it was like, right, it's crazy. And then, like I said, scoring the first goal, that was, that was like another level. I was just, my mind went missing when I scored. I was like, didn't know where I was. And then going down the other end, like near the last minute to get a penalty. When I stepped up on that ball, I was like, oh my Lord, I can feel everyone staring at me. And bearing in mind, I'm tired. I'm like, this is the 90 or something minute. I'm like, I haven't played 90 minutes for a long, long time before that. So I'm like, Phew. but the funniest thing is I kind of felt numb. I don't know why. And I was like, in my head, I was saying to myself, let me just put this in the net, man. Just let me, everyone go home happy. And then when I scored, great finish as well, by the way. I mean, hit the key with hands. But when I scored, I honestly, it was so loud and everyone's going crazy that I, I didn't hear nothing. Does that make sense? It was a weird feeling, like, it felt quiet, but it was so loud. I was like, oh my God, this feels weird. That's probably why the celebrations were so different in aspect. I was like, I don't know, it was weird. I felt cold, not cold, but like, there was just nothing in my head. It was just empty. It was the best feeling, though. It was weird. You had two celebrations to talk us through them because they yeah. were quite a contrast. The first one, you saw the the emotion and the passion and the, the sort of yeah. feeling of, you know, how good a moment it was for you. You came up just in front of where we sat now and yeah. did a bit of a knee slide in front of the I car. I've done about three celebrations in one. Like, <laughs> I was going crazy. I didn't know what to do. Uh, the family was up there. Obviously, the fans were just here, like, everyone was shouting. Like, like I said, the first goal, the whole team was just buzzing. It was just a nice feeling. One new up, I think. And yeah, that obviously now, to go, like I said, to go down to the other end and the, the celebrations and the energy used to be so different. It was just so many factors in it to like, let alone I was tired. But like I said, I feel like it was so wild when I scored that I just felt nothing. It's, pretty, it's hard to understand, but I feel like that's the best explanation for it. But yeah, that, that feeling when I did score that, that second goal was probably the best feeling I've had in a long time. A bit of relief as well in the celebration there. I think it's probably a lot of people made quite a few strange noises when they saw the keeper nearly got a hand to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, perfect. No, nah, but yeah, I don't know. It wasn't, it wasn't the best of penalties. But like I said, that was just a reflection of everything that was going on at the time. Like, it just went in as it's supposed to be, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I was happy. And you want more games like that, more days like that, more yeah, feeling? Yeah, the feeling. I feel like the feeling, like, no matter how the ball goes in the back of the net, it just goes in. But for me, it's all about the feeling, man. Because that feeling there felt like top of the world, man. Like, you want to have that every week. And you obviously want the fans to be engaged and like, the fans to be celebrating every week. You don't want to have, like, be booing or like, everyone down, having a little environment like that. You want everyone every week to be like, all together and obviously have a good journey and have a successful season so yeah a lot more of them